Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. I want to chat. Hey, Curtis. How you finding your new home? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. <laughs> you know, I'm out there fighting zombies and wading through sewage and God knows what. I think you can cope with cheap drink. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. And I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. Oh yeah, sure. Let me get right on that. As soon as I've saved the world. <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. For real? All right, you twisted my arm. I'll get the booze. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. If I was five years younger, I would be out there with you kids raising hell. That is an early Christmas present for me. If I can find this mailman.
This one just feels expensive. It must be right. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. Hey, we had a deal here. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. Looks cheap.
Whiskey, wine, and cigars. How is he still alive?
Okay, find this vintage whiskey and get out. At least the whiskey didn't get drunk yet. Just gotta find the guest room safe. <laughs> on him with this. This guy must have been a real booze fiend. The girlfriend had the key.
That's everything. Better get back before he orders a cheese. Leaf. I thought I'd seen it all. We can live too long. Booze and smokes, as you ordered. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Peggy. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. Oh, cool. That's a nice-looking gun. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. Appreciate it, but, uh, what if zombies get into the house? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> Miss Salazar, what a woman. You must be exhausted. Come, rest. Those devils will still be there when you go back out. <laughs> 